For the longest time, I've been fascinated with exploring remote places. I've always been amazed at what you can find off of the typical path and exhilarated by the sense of freedom when you truly get off the grid and are completely self-sufficient. And the best way to achieve this level of remoteness has been overlanding journeys. The distance one can travel by vehicle through the vastness of the West is completely unparalleled. So come along with us as we explore our backyard and go a little bit farther than we probably should. We awoke on our third day to clear skies and great temperatures forecasted for the deserts on the other side of the mountains. After enjoying breakfast while taking in our last views of the Sierra Mountains, we packed up and made our way on the relatively easy dirt roads back to the highway that would take us over the mountains to our east and back into our desert adventure proper. headed over the mountain pass, the first thing that hit us was the distance we were covering without seeing a single soul, and besides the road, any sign of civilization. Contrasted with the busy highway we'd been on that morning, it quickly set the tone of how truly vast and remote this empty part of the state was that we were slowly venturing into. And in a world dominated by constant connection, seeing the bars on your phone disappear with many more hours to go to your destination was an exhilarating yet unnerving feeling. As we thought about this, we watched outside our vehicles as the high desert landscape of pines and scrubs slowly and steadily changed to a more extreme environment, seemingly with every twist and bend in the road. Turn down here. Keep up your speed because I think it's going to start getting sandy. Yeah, I can hear you all right. When we came out of the pass and emerged onto the valley proper, the view was truly astounding. The sheer distance in this one valley, surrounded by rugged mountains that we knew were boundaries for similar empty valleys that then repeated again and again without any civilization in any of them, put us in complete awe. We sat back 
and took in the empty wilderness that completely surrounded us. As we neared our destination, with a lot of the day still left, we decided to pull over and unload the bike, with the aim of Garrett getting some miles under his belt and seeing how far my truck could keep up. Once again, I definitely felt pretty jealous as I knew he was about to really dive deep into the surrounding wilderness, and most likely, I wouldn't keep up for long. And sure enough, as the approach to the first pass started getting filled with deeper and deeper sand, I had to acknowledge the limits of my vehicle and call it, as Garrett himself continued deeper into the surrounding mountains. We're in Death Valley, so look out. May have gotten in a little bit too deep of sand. We'll see though.
dusty. When Garrett returned from his solo adventure, we set up camp and enjoyed our surroundings as the heat of the day began to subside. At once again, one of our best campsite vistas, we joked about how something so rewarding to us was most people's worst nightmare of how to spend their free time. Oh. oh, oh, I'm out. You just got no more water. Really? No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> I see your pump. <laughs> Bro, people just don't understand. No. I'm glad they don't because they're not out here. Yep. But isn't it crazy to like be in on the best kept secret in the world? Yeah. Camping? <laughs> it's so easy. Just go outside and yeah. sleep. That's why I almost laugh when I see. Well, I'm guilty of that because I thought before I met you and doing like the desert camping, that's what people did. They would go to campsites and that was it. It never crossed my mind. This is what you can really do. It did, it just seemed like a higher barrier of entry. Yeah. With the sun going down, along with the temperatures and the dunes adjacent our camp, mysteriously towering above us, seemingly beckoning to be explored, we decided on one last objective for the day before we called it quits. thought would be a quick hike humbled us immediately. We felt dwarfed the further and further we headed in, and the doom seemingly unchanged in height or size as we got closer. It was awe-inspiring to see this almost alien environment as the sun sank lower and lower, changing the colors of the sky, the sand, and the surrounding barren mountains with every moment. We summited and gained the vantage point of the crest. It was breathtaking to take in the surrounding valley and all of its desolate wilderness. Something so rarely we experience in this day and age. With a surprisingly short run down the dunes in an almost liquid feeling type of dry sand, we grabbed some beers and settled in for the night. After already feeling so much smaller, 
exploring this giant area of empty lands. Once the sun went down, we watched some of the best stars and clearest Milky Way I've seen, and got to then contemplate how this seemingly boundless planet is actually just one of those many specks in the sky as well. day four, it was time to head home. But we were leaving with a new appreciation of just how large this forgotten side of the state really was. It's easy to think of the overpopulated coasts and think that's all there is to this state. But on this trip, we learned just how truly diverse and pristine this inland expanse actually is. As we drove out, we knew we had barely scratched the surface of these lands, but we also knew this was just the first trip of many to come. and many more trips is right. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. It takes a lot of effort planning these trips then making sure to film, all while trying to also live in the moment. If you've enjoyed this film and want to support me, it helps a lot to subscribe and share on any social media platform you use. Additionally, if you want to support the channel and bring the adventure home with you, I've recently opened an online store where you can purchase still images from almost all my past movies in canvas, print, metallic, or acrylic. Just click into the video description below and look for the link that says canvas prints. That's it for this time. I hope you come back and join me on the next journey.